Let's take a look at the custom bokeh effect in Trivious Max 2017. If we render only the background particles with depth of field, we're going to get the regular circle of, of confusion. And uh, we can enable the caches because we won't be changing any channels. But we see that right now we're not using any map to control the bokeh shape. If we open the material editor and uh, take a look at the list of maps, we'll see the shape map, which is new in 3ds Max 2017, and it requires a shape object to control the rendering of the map. So we can create, for example, a star shape or any other shape for that matter. And in this case, we have a six points star and we can change its color so we can see it better in the viewport. We can pick it in the map and uh, the map will render the shape. We'll swap the colors to get white over black and we'll output this as the alpha. Then we can pick the map in the uh, camera, the Cricutor camera modifier. If we render now, nothing will change because we haven't enabled the use alpha as bokeh filter. When we do this, and render each of the circles of confusion will turn into a star. Of course, we can modify the shape on the fly and the texture will be rendered with eight or 12 points. So we can uh, now multiply the RGB of this map with uh, gradient ramp set the gradient ramp to radial mode and uh, we shouldn't forget to actually enable the output of the RGB as alpha because currently we're using the alpha to control the filtering of the bulky effect. Here we go, the two maps controlling the shape of the bulky. We can change the number of stars to four, tweak a little bit the shape of the star and then we'll modify the color flags. We can start with white, then we can go through yellow. And so we'll end with pure red. However, now we are outputting RGB information. So in order to get this onto the particles, we'll have to enable the blend RGB. We're blending with 100%. And if we render now, all the stars will turn into four points with a gradient from white through yellow to red. We can disable the background, the gray background, to render on a black background. And we also see the mid map border, which we can fix by increasing the mid map scale in the Cricutor camera. Let's re-enable the gray background and render on top. We can enable the anamorphic squeeze and this of course will modify the star to look more like an X. So uh, this is 3ds Max 2017 using a shape map to uh, control the uh, filtering. We can, of course, tweak the shape map to render only an outline instead of a field shape and create a very non-photorealistic effect. If we render now, the X will look like uh, a black X in a red-yellow gradient. Of course, we can update the preview manually in order to see this in the camera modifier. And if we would render all the particles, including the Krakatoa text and the description using these settings at a higher resolution, this is what we get.